Can you believe it? She asked me to take my hijab off. So I decided to. The story goes, I was in my early 20s at uni and I was looking for a job, right? I was desperate for money. And I thought to myself, oh yeah, I remember there's a jewellery store not far from uni. That's perfect for me. So let me go see if she's got any job opportunities. Because I've bought from this lady before presents for people um, from her private jewellery store. And it was really good. And she was so lovely and accommodating. So I thought, okay, why not try that? So I took my CV. In the old days, you needed you could just print out your CV and give it to the, to the owner. And then you got the job or not. Showing my age there. Anywho, I go to the jewellery store, I give her my CV, say, hi, have you got a job opportunity? I'm looking, you know, uni is around the corner. This is a perfect opportunity for me, you know, to kind of build on myself as well. And she said, I'd love to give you the job, but you've got to take this off. I said to her, what, you mean my hijab? She said, yes. I looked at her and I laughed. I giggled because I thought she was joking because she was such a lovely person. I giggled nervously and left the shop and never returned. I like to share these stories to see what I've learned from it and to show you how you can grow from a situation. So this is a practical exercise to show you how you can learn from your mistakes and past experiences. Looking back, I wish I would have acted a little bit differently. And now I've got some tips for my younger self. I also use these tips now if anyone confronts me because of the way I look, because of my religious identity. I've also got an interesting clip to show you later, so stay tuned. Before I go into it, I want to talk about compromising values, okay? This is one of the things I've learned. Compromising your value decreases your self-trust. So in the future, you'll find it more you'll find it difficult to trust yourself and make better and more decisive decisions. So if I would have said yes to taking off my hijab, I would have said yes to the next thing, then the next thing, and the next thing that compromises my values. You also lower your standards. Again, if you say yes to everything, what do you stand for? You may also feel emotionally challenged. You may feel hurt and sad and low. And you're thinking, why do I feel like this? I tell you why. Because you compromise you, your value for something that is probably minimum wage. The more you lose yourself the more sadness will occur inside and you won't even know why you feel sad. So what else have I learned from the story? A thing I've learned is to articulate better. So instead of giggling and walking away, which sometimes I still do when I'm nervous, I giggle, but I try and articulate what I want or what I want to kind of express. For example, I've learned now that it's really important to express discomfort. Like I don't like... I don't appreciate. I rather not. I'm not willing to. And remember, this is a, a lesson that perhaps you can take and apply in your own life. So it's not just about, you know, my hijab story, but it could be any aspects in, in life. It could be in your work life or other relationships. Do you know, I would have probably just given her a, like a sentence or two about why I wear it, the religious reasons why I wear it. But mostly I probably would have given her some historical context. For example, here alone in England, it was a norm to wear the hijab. What's fascinating is the girls' hair is all covered, so women do not show long hair. So you see the girls, the shawls, are completely covering them. And you don't see their hair at all, you just see their faces. And there's all this debate now about the hijab and about women covering their hair. And we forget that. We've lost that as part of our culture. That hundred years ago, you wouldn't walk out in the streets of Lancashire with your hair down. And while I'm articulating, I think it's really important when you want to put your point across is to be concise confident and to the point don't prolong it sometimes a sentence or two is all you need I would have still stayed kind and calm and walked away think of a time in your life you were asked to compromise your values or your morals how did you react how did you wish you would have reacted what have you learned I truly hope this video helped and it'd be lovely if you could help me by subscribing and liking that would be really kind of you 
Until next time, take care of yourself.